I think I got there. I think I got there with Shell Station. Let's play... Pass... Oop, nope, Pargon. Pass part two, <laughs> the Starving Artist. We're just gonna... Did I turn the sound off on this? I think I did. I turned it down? Yeah, a little bit. There we go. It doesn't need to be very loud. Um, let's, let's go here. Oh, the Mercy Wings on the opposite sides of the Pride Heart. That's actually super good. So, uh, if you've never been a part of our past Part 2 stream, here's how that goes. Uh, I'm gonna... Just draw some shit. Uh, let's not start with the, uh, with the black. Eh, I don't know. I already put the black on there. And we're going to just make a lot of stuff. It doesn't particularly matter what it is. I'm uh, going to be taking suggestions from the chat as much as possible. But we're just gonna make whatever weird thing comes to us, and we're gonna... Just see how it goes. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and then I'm gonna take whatever interesting crap we managed to pull out. And we're gonna draw that in real on a canvas here in a little bit, do some speed painting. Uh, other good wings candidates, Super Meat Boy with wings, Binding of Isaac Face with wings, and Creeper Head with wings. I really think there's not a lot that Mercy Wings could not improve. He was, Maybe he was a dragon man. He's kind of morphed into an alien boy. So, I'm just kind of, uh, fucking around while I was doing my explaining. Uh, does anyone have any any ideas, any requests, any uh, horrible dream they want to see made into a reality? It doesn't have to be, like, your input doesn't have to be super weird. Trust me, I will weirdify it as we go along. Ooh, Mewtwo with Wings also is a very strong play. The moon looks kind of peppery. We Listen, okay, listen. As much as I, I love you, we can't just make everything a pepper. We, we, I don't want that to be my milieu as an artist. Alf as a pepper was great. I mean, now it does just kind of look like a banana. Yeah, I kind of, like, I thickened it up at the bottom, and that really, like, brought out the bananaism. So. So, no John Locke, but, uh, Jalapeno. No, we can't, I'm not 100% who John Locke is. And I could bring up some reference material, but... I'm just going to finish this thing up real quick. And then we'll uh, work on this sleepy kitty. I thought he was the guy everyone liked and lost. That could be true. I don't think I've seen an entire episode of Lost. <laughs> Lost.
lost is what happens when you ask a four-year-old to tell you a scary story. That's, you know, not necessarily fair. Actual John Locke looked like the wand merchant from Harry Potter. Yeah, this is good. I think we're going to keep this. I mean, we're going to get rid of it, but that's fine for right now, and now we can move on to a thing. Uh, moon Boat Race. I should have called it Moon Dynamite Boat Race. Fuck. I duped that up. So, Sleepy Kitty. How... What background do we want for this? <laughs> X-Cop with a magic shut up and take my money. That's very good. God, I love Dask... God, I love Axed Cop. I, I do love Axed Cop. Uh, sure. I don't care about making money. Have your have your thing. So, hmm. Well, let's start with the... Uh, let's go back to front. So we have the background. We'll get a... We'll get a carpet in here, I think. Yeah, that's good. And we'll, uh... Throw some lines on this to clarify that it is wallpaper. And not a jail. Or maybe... There was a show? Did you not know that there was a show? Yeah, it, it was pretty damn good. Also, hi, Elvaro. Thank you for showing up. <laughs> Yellow wallpaper. I love that story. And by loved, I mean it, haunt <laughs> it haunts me to this day. Oh, that's right. Uh, um... So, Sue is playing Hard West. Excuse me, I'm just going to take a sip of this delicious unnamed beer. Sue uh, is playing Hard West, and there's a character in that game that is also named Alvaro. Recently, he's put on a mask, and bad things have happened. So, I, I said a minute ago that I don't want this to look like a jail cell, but no, I think I want this to be a jail cell. So... Let's get some Nah, if this is gonna be a jail cell, we need to we need to doof it all the way up. So let's start in gray. I wish you could uh I wish you could make colors a little bit easier. And we'll make the We'll make the floor part of it green, because bad kitties on the green mile it did a kitty murder maybe that's not the maybe that's not the nice way to go about this but the heart wants what it wants uh, and we go back to front I guess so the bars are not gonna come in very soon Let's make a long bed. The other side's off. Other way's off to the side. Of course, it's a bunk bed because there's overcrowding in kitty jail. Uh, nope, that's not it. Got close. <laughs> Why does Zoo keep talking about me? Right, she keeps talking about you and John Wayne's voice, which is pretty dope. I'll get a little bit more up here so there's a like footrest. Oh, 
Let's make this background white so we can get a little uh, get a little contrast in there. So how have you been, Alvaro? I haven't uh, we haven't seen you. I saw you got your uh, rainbow rainbow volcano stickers in. And they look dope as hell. Right, Volcane Bow, thank you. And so how are we going to do this? So Kitty needs to be facing us, I think. So that it will be able to be red as a kitty. So let's get the ears up. It's a little more goblin-esque, but it's fine. Get a bit of a neck. Um... And then we go here for the orange kitty jumpsuit. I just realized you can stream uh, Twitch to your Chromecast, which uh, makes Twitch easier to watch. Yeah, right? Our uh, our television, like actual television, use changed a lot once we like got a Roku. Start with a light brown for the fur here. There's some sort of uh, pops happening outside. I'm not sure how I feel about that. It's probably fine. The dogs aren't really happy about it. Let's uh, get the black and put that highlight back on. There we go. And how about this? We have an arm draping over the side because there's not a lot of space. Overcrowding, like I said. Get DJ is a hell of a place. And this other arm's coming down too. There we go. That was just a little bit thicker, but that's that's fine. Kitties don't have to be symmetrical. I mean nothing has to be symmetrical except I guess mirrors. Is that how that works? I don't think that's how that works. It sounds like those popping caps. Oh, right. Uh, the fucking Dollar Tree and stuff has been selling, like, you know, those TNT snap poppers like you get? You know the ones. Uh, in advance of the 4th of July, which is in a month. And... No, we need a little we need a little more room to make that read okay. And tiny pink nose. Some darker brown in here for to fill up the ears. Here we go. How about some stripes, huh? On either side of the face. That's good. A little floofier. Here on the chest. Uh, yeah, also, also summer vacation. So, you know, the kids are, are out and hellioning. Do 
John Hellion Summer Marine. Yes. Perfect. That's not a that's not a bad that's not a bad sleepy kitty. Um I tell you what though, because we got a big blank space over here. Let's go with Um How about this? This will be fun. Uh, is there a darker gray we can use? No, no, not really. Let's just use brown. That's fine. Sometimes I get annoyed at the uh, the color palette in Past Part 2, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff there to work with. I just get annoyed that for my monochrome options, there's just black, white, and gray. Like mid mid ass gray. Then here we've got uh, Uh, nah, I shouldn't use orange? Nah, it's fine. I can use orange. I was concerned because I'm, uh... I I'm making Kitty Raquel Welsh over here. Uh, you know, a nice hole for our sleepy kitty to be digging his way out of prison with. And I was like, should I be using orange? Because it's, uh... Because it's going to look like the jumpsuit, but nah, I think it's going to read okay. Kitty Raquel Welsh. I like the idea that in Kittyverse, people they have like person names as their uh, as their nicknames. So you have Snuffins, John McMasters. <laughs> she has big ears, you know. Some people like that. And, uh, just a little, a little bit there, a little bit there, kind of skirtish. Yeah, I mean, whatever you're into, you can, you can like big ears. I'm not here to yuck your yum. Put blue up here for the sky. I'm gonna get some more of that tan here. So, ooh, is there an even lighter tan than that? Yes, there is. Good. Good. That's what I wanted. It's Lazaga Cat. Yeah, you know, Garfield's, uh... I think it's nice, really. Like, Garfield's, uh, international star. But, you know, he'll still take work. He'll be in a bikini and, uh, you know, caveman cat thing. He'll do that. He just loves acting. It's all about the craft for him. Alright, we need to redo this. I also think it's, like, really brave of him to take on this, uh, like, kind of gender-swapped role. It's very, uh, it's very cool. Uh, I wish I could get that thinner, but I can't. And Bill Murray, any movies you regret? No, I would never have done Garfield. And that's the cliff face that she's standing in front of. Let's put some cloud in the sky. That's good. Happy little clouds on an almighty mountain. 
Oh, you were trying to like flip it and reverse it. Ah, oh, that's a good joke. I wish I'd have. Uh, I wish I'd have grokked that. I'm sorry. That's me fucking up your Christmas. That looks good. Do we want to like make the bed a different color? Nah, I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna confuse things too much. All right. Well, that's the inside of the cell. So now we just draw the bars. And we're going to lose a pretty good amount of Raquel doing this, but... There we go. No one's getting out of there. No one's ever gotten out of here. Uh, boned that, didn't I? Yeah, it's fine. We'll just grab the, uh, I'll just grab the green and, nope, not that green, the other green. We'll touch that up. <laughs> Racking a tin cup across the bars. Kataka, kataka. That's beautiful. Cup, ship it, print it. Uh, what do we do? We have to call it Katika. I think we do. All right, so that's one down. Uh, anyone else got an idea while I just kind of start screwing around over here? Like Garfield played the role of Lorenzo Music and Bill Murray in the story about uh, Bill Murray and his friendship with the Lorenzo Music. He played both roles. Yeah, that, that makes sense because he just likes acting. Uh, no, we're not, we're not selling this today. Thank you. This is for a different purpose. I'm just going to dick about and draw a lamp, I think. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Steve. I'm glad you're a fan. Thanks for coming by. Is tonight specifically cat-themed? No, it's just uh, Andy asked for a sleepy cat, and so I I took that ball and ran with it. Uh, if you, Alvaro, have a suggestion, if anyone in chat has a suggestion, if you're new here, that's okay. Uh, just shout it out. It doesn't have to be super weird. I'll, I'll weird it up myself. But I like doing I like doing stuff people suggest for a variety of reasons. Not the least of which is that I can then kind of divorce whatever it is from what I'm doing, and I don't feel so self conscious self conscious about it. I ran out of breath right through the middle of that. Fuck you, boring choice of color, Maggie. What do you know? Your hair's stupid. Like, I'm not telling you this is an interesting lamp, but it is the lamp I'm drawing. You can draw your lamp any way you want. draw a teddy bear who is totally radical. Alright, that sounds good. Let's just finish up this lamp real quick. Drop a gold end chain. One of those uh, big suckers like you get to pull the light on and off. That's good.
So what do we got? Radical teddy bear. Sure. Yeah, it is really basic. I drew a fucking lamp, Cynthia. You can't just call yourself Synth. Get it? It's, get it? It's like the it's like the the instrument too. Ooh. Cause cause I play in my punk band. It's like get the fuck out. Let me know when you've scored a gig. Then we'll goddamn talk about you and your band. <laughs> You don't, it doesn't need to be deep, Cynthia. It's a fucking picture of a lamp. I shouldn't be getting this aggro with people. Uh, radical teddy bear we wanted. Let's start with a very nice, just a very, let's go even lighter. How about that? It's a very nice, comfortable, calming, light blue background so that we can offshoot how radical uh, the teddy bear will be. So, I think we just start out with, like, a reg-ass teddy bear, right? We get some ears in there. Make a face. Put a body underneath it. Get some arms. Yeah, it's a perfectly acceptable teddy. Speaking of punk, that new Neil Gaiman movie got weird. Does, does Neil Gaiman have a new movie? I mean, you, you're saying that, like, Neil Gaiman stuff isn't weird generally. The last movie made out of his work was a thing where a girl went into a place where everyone has buttons on their eyes. Like... <laughs> What's uh what's weird about it? What's the movie? Change those ears up. Speaking of buttons for eyes, I think that's what we'll do for Ted here. Cuz it lets me keep using just circles and I think I like that aesthetic. And well, well, no, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll center that and then make a black circle. On both of those and then go back to the blue. Make a slightly smaller blue circle. Oh yeah, that's not creepy at all. How to talk to girls at parties. They took a short story and then went buck fucking wild with it. What's the, uh, is there an issue? I'm not familiar with that short story. Does it get, like, super problematic, or is it just weird? I guess I would kind of have to have the context for the... like, actual short story. It was originally just kind of a boy meets girl at a party and is baffled by their weird conversation. Like a little tummy button there. Mm, that's too big. Need a smaller tummy button. He's a very small bear. There we go. They expanded it in the movie. They expanded it to be even more, like, wacky, or... There's, like, a, there's like a space-faring, latex, bondage-wearing alien race. Oh. I'm looking at a picture now. Let's, uh, let's bring that up on still stores. Yeah, that's a hell of a thing. 
All right. I do like the pubic triangle. I mean, you know me. I I'm up for, like, latex bondage at, like, literally any time. A subspecies of whom reproduced by budding whilst anal fingering. That's, uh... Um, hmm. What the hell, I guess, is my question. And we can't really do a circle here, so we're gonna... We're just gonna go with a nice smiley Ted mouth. That's fine. Alright, now we gotta make them super rad. Those are the Sellas. They're specifically the sex species. Uh... So I think word one of ratting up a bear is to just add piercings everywhere. So let's get a couple... Oh no, that's not uh, gold enough. Yeah, there we go. We'll get big hoops down here. And then a couple small, like... Uh, what are these called? The the piercings up on the, like, crest of the ear. I, I understand there's a word for it, but I don't know off the top of my head. It's ma oh, sure, I'll just tell you this stupid thing. It's a, it's a lamp, I don't care. <laughs> it was amazing. It deserved its 42% rating, but some of us are going back. Well, a, a movie doesn't have to be good to be highly entertaining, right? Uh, let's get one in the nose, too. That's good. And then one down here at the... I think? Yeah, that's that's good. Cartilage piercings. Yes, thank you. Because they pierce the cartilage. That makes sense. I, I'm willing to put together simple sentences. Look at Street Fighter. Street Fighter is not my favorite movie, but it is m the movie that I tell everyone is my favorite movie. Also, don't forget the sexy gun tats on the hips pointing down at the... No, nah, that's not kind of uh, the kind of radical I'm going for. Down in his, uh, you know, bear meat. That's That's not what we want. No, we're absolutely going mohawk. I'm just trying to decide what color I wanted. I think, uh... Hard green? Yeah, neon green here, mohawk. That's good. I'll tell you what, we'll make it, leave it a little darker green so we can give it some texture. There we go. <laughs> if the movie had just three more musical numbers, I would be seeing it in costume at least twice a year. So, Alvaro, I, I have uh, I have thoughts about Rocky Horror. They're not necessarily all positive, although I, I think it's a fun thing to do. The fact that you're comparing this thing to, uh, to Rocky Horror is really something. Those are big shoes. Those are great big fucking shoes. I think we move with the mouth now. Let's make it open a little bit. Maybe sticking his tongue out. Oh, I'll tell you what. I think Teddy, uh... How are we going to do this? Yeah, there we go. We'll make it very clear that Teddy has uh, that forked tongue. I've seen that procedure go down, too. There was a really great, uh... Um doc on on uh, Netflix it was called Modify where they just went through a bunch of uh, body modifications and um, does that the uh, the like tongue splitting is one of the ones they did uh, that they showed you the process of which is actually just like grabbing a goddamn uh, scalpel and pulling it through the through the thing. A 
It was directed by John Cameron Mitchell from Hedgewig and the Angry Inch. Oh, so it's, uh, does it have a lot of musical numbers in it anyway? Yeah, that's better. I, I, I was like, we'll put a, a cleft in the middle so it's really obvious it's forked. But I thought the having it too wide was really making it look like it was vomiting blood, which is a very different kind of radical. Um, let's go with this next. Uh, here we go. Nothing says... Uh, Radical. Like a. Uh, no, we can't do that. We have to go black, don't we? Yeah, we do. Because. Ooh, I just had a really bad flashback. Um, we're, we're putting uh, some some denim on, uh, on Cubby here. A denim jacket. You know, like all radical people wear all the time every day. I have a denim jacket in my house for specifically this reason. We'll get some studs on there. Just all along the the end piece here. And they're not even. Cuz radical people, they don't they don't have time to bother about even. It's about the look. How to Talk to Girls at Parties has just one musical number about consuming your young. Okay, cool. Uh, how about we get in here with a... Oh no, I got it. I know how this goes. It's... There's a dead Kennedy's patch. We should also give him abs. Well, yeah, we can give him abs. I mean, he's a he's a stuffed bear, right? Uh, so they're not going to be like good abs. They're going to be like Ab Aber 2000 abs. But, you know, here we go. You know, if you're going to bother to wear a, a jacket like this with no shirt. You might as well uh, get your abs right. A drawn chest hair? I mean, it's a bear. Bears are already like 100% hairy. I, I think drawing abs on it is as much uh, like torso as we need. What do you mean over here? Just a. Uh... I feel like we need one more thing. Oh, thank you, Alvaro. That's exactly correct. We need one anarchy patch. And some clothespins. Nah, you got it. You figured it out for me, and I'm super hype about that. I've just realized that I'm basically just drawing Eric Cannon from memory. And the clothes, the clothes pins can be holding on the Kennedy's patch. Because I don't have time to sew stuff in. That's for jerks. Why bother putting effort into something I love? Instead of that, I'll go spend 50 cents on clothes pins. We're shooting for punk, right? We were kind of shooting for radical. And I think we shot past that a little bit. Did I say... What did I say? Did I say clothespins? That was Alice laughing in the background, yes. Give them commonest shades. I don't know... I'm sorry, I just bumped the mic. I'm sorry about that. I don't know if giving uh, Punk Teddy here commonest shades is going to add or detract, because I really like the work I did with the button eyes, and I don't want to lose that, and I'm absolutely going to if we go for bros glasses. The common shades only cover part of the eyes. Yeah, I think... No, you're right. I think we can uh, safely give you 
common in glasses. Give me two seconds. I'm just going to look up how those look. The the picture's going to go down, and you're going to see this wonderful background of uh, of space. I think this is from Mass Effect. I, I'm not sure. I just saw a really cool space background. And then I went for it. They're like... Uh, they're almost right triangles that intersect at the uh, at the point, but yeah. I think we can do that. Of the two... No, it's perfect. Okay, well, I, I guess we have to take a bit of a, a, a thing, don't we? So everyone in chat who wants common shades, put your hands up. By, oh gosh! If you use display capture, remember not to have porn for a desktop background. That's very good advice. Katie's very smart. That's why I married her. Uh, I think that um, I don't have porn for my desktop backgrounds. I have one that's like a landscape, but it's also a girl. Andy says no shades. Alvaro says no shades. Uh, I'm sorry, Alice. You you got outvoted. Cause I'm I'm fifty fifty on it. Yeah. I agree. But this is a very good look. We're absolutely keeping this. And. Give them eyebrows? We can give them eyebrows. We can do that. Um, can I move you? Okay, no, we can't give them eyebrows. I thought that once I, I hit the button, I could still move it back and, like, redo it. But that's not a thing that happened. I'm sorry. That's, that's a fun one. I also was behind the eyebrows once it was suggested. It was just too late. I, I wish I could go back. I really thought there was a way to, uh, like, reinvigorate your painting once you've made it. But I guess that's uh, kind of antithetical to the idea of Passport to the game, right? Is that you make your art and then you live with the art you made. So I'll tell you what. How about here? We start with just gigant fucking eyebrows. And then they move into some eyes that are obviously off screen. I shouldn't have gone with green for this, I'm realizing. That's making me feel a little not okay. It's fine. Hi B, how you doing? Weird, why does Firefox keep labeling Squirtle as misspelled? Oh right, Squirtle isn't the word. I feel like more Pokemon should be in the like common dictionary, right? If you're going by uh, Oxford's like bullshit excuse that You know, a word is a word depending on how many people use it. Pokemon are actually just fucking nouns. B is being confused about gender. I I'm usually confused about gender. I I'm fine with my own, generally, but there's a bunch of shit. Is this Oscar the Grouch super close up? I mean, it is now. No, that's too... Yeah, let's just blacken that in, and then we'll take the... Is it this green? No, it's the other green. And we'll slide that about. There we go. That's good. I'm confused why gender is a thing, really. 
I've, I've said this before that I identify as female kind of out of habit and because it's easy. Like, it doesn't actually mean anything on any real... any real basis. I'm not going to get on a soapbox and talk about that. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. We're not keeping this one. That's one of the ones we're going to sell. Uh, does anyone have ideas? Because otherwise I'm just going to keep on fucking around for a while. We're going to make a, a dual tick right quick. While I'm waiting. Uh, far be it from, far be it from me to, uh, get in the way of fucking around, but what's my favorite Mario Kart item? Uh, I do have a shirt with a blue shell on it. For some reason, my brain wants something Goldblum related. Passion of the Goldblum. Goldblum's some land. I think that's a little too outside of my range. I tell you what, though, we're gonna take both of those ideas. Um, I'm we're stopping because I'm having a sip of my beer very quickly. Ah, it's actually quite good. It's the uh, Founders Extra Dark Porter, which claims that it is uh, rich, dark, and sexy, just like me. The best Mario Kart item is Bullet Bill. Fight me. You're allowed to. You're allowed to like who you like. Bullet Bill is very good. <laughs> ah, yes, the two genders: Blue Shell and Bullet Bill. All right then. I think we can do this. Uh, the passport two is going to go down again for just a second while I hit some buttons. They're the buttons that let me know what Jeff Goldblum looks like. Um, because I need a reference. And we absolutely want this gold bloom, right? We want to, uh, we want Jurassic Park gold bloom. This is a good gold bloom too. We're not, we're not going to do this gold bloom. That's a little, that's a little too not what I want. Oh, look at this picture. That's, that's beautiful. <laughs> Sam Neil, like, uh, we're going to go with this one. The, the two genders, cheese and cheese, but the cheese that isn't cheese. Uh, he he looks like uh, the living uh, the living embodiment of uh, of of ham. That's a bad Jeff Goldblum. You're you're correct that it's a bad Jeff Goldblum. So we're gonna do this. Yeah, that's good. I like I like that. I like what we're doing. And then a deep blue stripe here. And that that needs to be a lot uh that needs to be a lot further along. Actually, it doesn't need to be like all the way out. Yeah, I think it does. So we do our background first, so that everything looks nice and neat, and then we can clean it up later. Uh, 
I mean, you're not wrong for liking Jeff Goldblum. Also, I don't think that... Oh, we're going to sell off Oscar while we're just kind of talking. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum is a sexual identity freebie. That's great. Not, like, not even wrong. Alright, fuck you, Sith. You wouldn't know art if it stuck a needle directly in your brain and injected you full of art knowing. I didn't see what Synth said. I was, uh... I was busy, like... Uh, actually doing art. See, that's the thing. You don't. You listen to the haters less. Let's put some squaggles in there so it's clear that this is an ocean. There we go. Huh, that's super weird. So the, uh, are y'all hearing the, the music for Past Part 2 or is it just my voice? Has it just been my voice this whole time? It has been, because I'm not seeing the desktop audio device pop up at all. Huh, that's super weird. It, it's coming out of my, uh... It's coming out of my speaker for some reason. It shouldn't. It's because I'm still set to headphones. No, yeah, because it's coming out of... The music for the game's coming out of my desktop speakers for some reason. Fuck if I know. Okay. So... That's fine. I'll tell you what then. Let's uh, spin that down and I'll bring up a little bit of music while we're doing this because I actually kind of don't like the. That's too much pressure on me. The idea that we're just going to sit here and listen to me and nothing but me. A needle full of light knowing. That's just all light drugs. Hard knowing is what all light drugs make you think they are. So... I think the next thing is we draw the cart right. Yeah, so it's... We're kind of a weird angle. It's like a top-down view a little bit. There we go. Uh, the music we're hearing right now comes off of uh, uh, Pretzel, by the way, which is a uh, service that you could look into if you uh, if you do streaming. It's uh, just like Argo Fox. It's just a collection of music. Uh, yeah, I chose the like ambient, chill station that they have. They have a uh, a bunch of fucking stations up here that's all very. They're very tuned, and I quite like it. And they're also all perfectly royalty-free, completely nice to use for... God damn it, please stay up past part two. For... Uh, for not getting spammed by... By people who want to just make money off of you. <laughs> there we go, that's fine. I think that's good. It is a good fit. And now, uh, driving the cart, it's very up front. I guess the engine's in back. Uh, driving the cart, we're going to have good old Mr. Goldblum. Maggie's apparently upset with me that I'm trying to be a minimalist. It's like, it was part of the set, Maggie. You, you wouldn't understand. I create a story with my art, and the story we're creating right now is Jeff Goldblum. Uh, just, we're not going to see his legs, they're tucked into the, to the thing, but I think his jacket overhangs the cart a little bit.
There we go. That very black leather jacket Jeff Goldblum's in in that fucking movie. Let's actually uh, cut down the size of this so I can also look at chat while I'm doing that. There we go. Listen, everybody wants to have a binder sewn together out of $100 bills and have golden glasses. I understand wanting to suck billions of dollars out of small-time creators. I also understand wanting to make money by doing nothing, uh, but causing problems for other people. I think it sucks, but I get why it happens. Just gonna put a nice big, uh... So, I gotta be honest with you, it's not gonna look that much like Jeff Goldblum. It's gonna look enough like Jeff Goldblum. He's got, like, throwback, like, black hair. Here. Yeah. There's the big... Can I make that any smaller? Nah, sure can't. Got the big nearly square Ian Malcolm glasses. And if that's as far out as that goes, let's make a nose out here too. Yeah, that's it. I'll tell you what, just so it's not a vast expanse of... Oh no, we can't use gray because the thing's gray. Fuck. It doesn't matter if it doesn't matter if uh, it doesn't matter if it looks like Jeff Goldblum. It matters that the charisma looks like Jeff Goldblum's charisma. Yeah, that's right. That's fair. We're not. It, the face is too small to read pupils, but we are gonna white out the glasses. Toe to tip. That's a Goldblum. But Goldblum's very concentrated on the race. We're just gonna give him a, like, very... It's almost a periwinkle shirt we're doing here. Because we can't use gray, because the fucking... Because <laughs> the race course is gray. Periwinkle is the best color just because of the name. It's a very good name. Jeff's upset, though. Jeff's upset because he's just spotted... Oh, no. Oh, no, what's this? It's one of those bananas. It's one of those bananas in the middle of the... Oh, no, it's right in the middle of the road. It is so much trouble. He was in first, but, like, Diddy Kong's right behind him. He's absolutely gonna get fucked by this banana, y'all. Is really nah this isn't the way it goes is it the the front piece should be like that so that we know that it's facing the camera there we go that's better and it's got that infuriating fucking smiley face on it because the banana knows he's about to fuck you Let's get some, I think we're gonna be well served by some, some highlighting here. I thought we could kind of go without it, but I think, uh, getting our outlines in is gonna be a little more, 
Oh yeah, that really helps it be Jeff Goldblum, I think. Having just a little bit more of that, uh, that outline, we can see that that's clearly Jeff Goldblum, star of stage and screen. Dr. Ian Malcolm himself in the flesh. What was the name of his character from, uh, from that fucking movie? From, uh, Life Aquatic with Steve Zissou. John Dinosaur, Jurassic Marine? Yeah, fair enough. A dinosaur? I know it's a banana, but now I've just got Mr. DNA from Jurassic Park in my head. There's much worse things to be stuck in your head, I'll tell you that. So, yeah, I think this one's... I think this one's got it for us. So we're going to step this over here. And we're going to call this Gold Blum Eats a Banang. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now, it's almost 10 o'clock. And I still have another part of the stream to get to, which is the speed drawing. I think we have three really great contenders here. Uh, excuse me, could you move out of my way? Ben Benjamin, please, please go. I'm, I'm busy, I'm trying to do a thing. So, what do we want to draw? Uh, we have Jeff Goldblum almost hitting a Benang. We have, uh, Eric Cannon from Chikara Pro Wrestling, only he's also a teddy bear. Or we have this, uh, please stop. Or we have this cat. The Per Shank Redemption. No, Katika, we called it. So, we're going to paint one of these on an actual canvas. Who wants, uh... Bees... Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting that I can't click off this at all. Bees voting for the cat. Which makes sense. Uh, Alvaro and Alice, anyone else in the chat have any uh, preference over what we draw here? Or what we paint, rather? Katika is very good, but I think I'd like to see the bear. So we have two differing opinions already, so now I guess we need to hear from Alvaro and, and Alice. Alvaro votes, votes bear. Alice is trying to abstain because she's part of the channel, and that's kind of that's kind of cheating. Uh, all right then. Well, I'll tell you what. And that's that's two votes to me not having an opinion because I want to. I do. I would like to do any of these really, but I think the bear would be fun. And I think, yeah, I think we're gonna go with bear. So I'll tell you what. Let's hit this download button. That's going to save a screenshot to my computer. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, you sure can. So we're going to take the stream down for a little bit. I'm just going to leave the music running. And we're going to switch around some stuff. And then we'll come back and we'll be painting in real, presuming I can remember what I did with my painting tools. Uh, call it three minutes. Yeah, we're getting a real live painting. I'm going to take the stream down for... Not take the stream down. It's going to stay up, but I'm going to go to a BRB screen. And then we're going to go to the webcam, and I'm going to paint this here bear in real. Uh, okay. That's, that's that. Be back in a second.
wanna show you Wanna let you loose inside my brain To see if you'd run or stay show you wanna let you loose inside my brain to see if you'd run or stay Okay, and we're back. How about, how about this beat? I'm super into it. We're going to turn it down a little bit, though. Or, actually, I guess it's not that loud for you. Still want to turn it down just a little bit. So we are... Oh, gosh. You know, you think you're a professional. You think you're a professional just once in your life. That light is fantastic, thank you. Guess who's back from falling out of bed onto their boobs? Uh, I presume it's you. I, I hope you didn't hurt yourself. And no, we can't just drag it into the thing, can we? All right, let's put it on the desktop. Uh, so what I'm doing right now is we're adding um, the image, the thing that I'm going to be painting, to the... overlay so that you can see what it's supposed to be looking like. There we go, perfect. Just like that. Gravity has betrayed me. Ah. I'm sorry, B. Gravity is a is a real motherfucker. It's almost as bad as time in 
Time's an asshole. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust this a little bit better. I probably should have done this off camera. There we go. And this is gonna, please, please. I have too much crap just around my desk for cords to get caught on. Okay, we're ready to go. From the rooftop, shout it out. So we have our wonderful new camera set up. Hi, hi everyone. My, my face is huge. I must have huge guts. <laughs> so we are going to, oh wonderful, that's exactly what I wanted, thank you. We are going to be painting this wonderful bear. So, I think our first play is to, I had to get some brown. I, when I went and bought paint for this excursion, I was like, oh, you know, all I need are like red and blue and yellow, the, the primary ass colors, and then we'll work on it from there. But no, you actually do need like other stuff, especially when what you've decided to paint is a giant teddy bear. That's what Lego thought too. Oh yeah, because Lego's original colors were just white and red and yellow and blue. And uh, then they just needed more stuff. Hmm? Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I was putting stuff over the Wii U, which is not uh, what we wanted. Oh yeah, I got my pride nails. Let's show that off a little bit. That's my, uh, that's my trans pride flag nails. Is that where it's working? Yeah, that's it. It's good. I, uh, I spent a lot of time on them. They're starting to crack. I need to redo them. But, uh, oh no, they didn't show up at all. It's really hard to tell because I can't, I don't have a live view. Uh, but let's get into this. You, If you want to see them, I put a picture of them up on my Mastodon. They're, uh, they're a couple, from a couple days back. So we're starting off with a lot of brown. Like a lot of brown, though. So we've got a nice burnt sienna here. I'm just going to push out rather a lot because we're going to need it, I think. And we're also going to need the... Uh, the Folk Flirt Quality Licorice. That was a dollar at our local Walmart. To darken it up a little bit. And we're also going to need the white to make it a little bit brighter. Yes, uh, yes, you're correct. I'm sorry, our local unbranded superstore. The non-binary pride flag has five colors. Uh, I don't know that off the top of my head. That sounds about right. So let's... Mm, nah, I think we'll take a smaller brush than that to start with. I was about to use this, uh, like, thick brush, but actually there's a lot of, like, finer detail up around uh, Teddy's ears. So we're not going to be starting there. We need to get it a little bit, a little bit thinner. One of these is the brush I want. Here it is. Look at you. You're like a pen. Have this nice little brush. Now what I want to, uh, what I want to stress about what I'm doing here is that I'm an idiot and that I haven't done, like, art since, well, since the last time I did the Past Part 2 stream. But from then, the last time I did art was in high school, probably? Oh, that's real thick. And I wasn't particularly good at it then, but I did like it. I'm just going to... I'm just going to start in, I think. Should these be darker? Yeah, the this should be a little bit darker. 
So let's throw in a touch of black on there. Not a lot. Just a little glob like that. We'll switch that up. He's worried about the autofocus not liking hand motions. Hopefully it doesn't get too bad. Oh, is it being, uh, is it being awful? There we go. That's much nicer. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. Make a big round head ears. There we go. That's good. I like that. I actually should go with a different brush, I think. That's uh, that's slightly too small for what I'm doing. I'm learning, I'm learning this as I go along. That was the thing I was saying, uh, is that I, I'm not actually good at art, but I like it, and that should be enough, right? Like, all of this equipment, and I use that term rather loosely, cost 40 bucks? Less than? I think the most expensive uh, piece of it was the... Oh, there we go. That's, that's exactly what I needed. I think the most expensive piece of it was the actual canvi, which is the plural for canvases. You would know that if you were an artist like me. Uh, which was like a pack of six for like 12 bucks. You too can do art. And it might not be great. It might not be uh, hanging in the Guggenheim, but it will be yours. Ted Round Ears, plush marine. Yes. I like this. There we go. Let's get the ears sorted. I'll just join them up real good here. A little bit more of a curve than that, I think. Yeah. The canvi sounds like a pretty erotic part of the body. I mean, every part of the body is an erotic part of the body if you're trying hard enough. Canville? Oh, canvas is Latin, which means the plural is canvipodes. Uh, am I breathing hard into the mic, by the way? I'm, tr I'm trying not to, but again, I, I don't have a monitor, so I'm just trying my best. There we go. And a big, chubby, round, Ted face to go along with it. This is a little squatter than what I was making before, of course, because it's not going to be like perfect circles. But that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be fun. That looks real good. I like that outline. So, what's the next piece? I think the next bit is the... Is we move on to the jacket, right? Yeah. Because we need to know where the shoulders are so we can know where the like interior of the bear is going to be. So, let's get out just some plain-ass black. Oh, come on. I know you're in there. There you go. That's a fun look. Canvopod, yes. I like Canvopod. 
Because, you know, they're made out of, like, uh... Those... Oh, I'm sorry about the mic. They're made out of those things. I need to apologize since my dumb poke... My dumb joke only makes sense to people that know that the plural of octopus is octopods. I know. What do, you, what do you think? We're some sort of country bumpkins up here? We're, uh, we're high artists. We know, we know things like Latin plurals. I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't know that was the proper Latin plural. I don't know why I just tried to lie to you right now, and for that I apologize. There we go. Oh, so I said uh, a while ago I had a flashback. <laughs> so we, uh, I grew up in the, uh, the Southern Baptist Church. And in the Southern Baptist Church, there's this thing called Awana Clubs. And they're absolutely miserable. Uh, you go to them because your parents make you every Wednesday. Or maybe you do like it. I'm not here to yuck your yum if that's actually your thing. But it was uh, kind of a miserable time for me because... It's exactly the worst way to learn about faith, because it's it kind of touts itself as even more Christian Boy Scouts. What it actually is is sitting and memorizing Bible verses for way too long. And there was a character um, for the younger kids that looked a lot like this, called Cubby, except he had a blue jacket with uh, little little pins on them in the shape of crowns. And so when I started uh, making the jacket, I started making it blue, and I was like, ooh, no. No, thank you. That's that's bringing back a little too much. Uh, I literally made the same reference at the same time independently, so at least you and I got it. Oh no, I didn't think you were mansplaining to us at all. That would that would be weird and unlike you. Uh, what's th what's this? Uh, I guess the next part, like I said, is we do the interior here, which means we're gonna use the the beige again or the brown. But we're just gonna leave the brown as is. We don't need quite so much of it either. I feel like I made a little bit too much of the darker brown. We are gonna be using a lot of it, but. Um, Let's dip this out and see if we... Did you, uh... Are there paper towels that I could wipe the brushes off on? Uh, okay. We'll just leave that brush where it is for right now. I'll go get another one. I have plenty of brushes. Oh, that's very hard. That's what she said. <laughs> I had someone try to mansplain something about Lego at me the other day. I don't remember what I said, except I blocked them. Oh, that's great. Fuck that person. Like, first of all... I've, of course, seen your Lego streams, because I'm here for them doing, like, production. Which is a very strong term for what I actually do. Thank you very much. And you already know just a shit ton about Lego. <laughs> Is that a little too dark? I think that's a little too dark. There's not a lot we can do about that, I think. Because uh, it's going to be harder to lighten it up on canvas. But we are going to add just a touch of white to the... To this brown here. And make it yet lighter. Oh, that's a very good color. That's very tan. I like that a lot. <laughs> How do you mansplain about Lego? How is the world fucked up that hard? I don't know anymore, B. I, I'm just trying to hold on. <laughs> like everyone else, I think. Uh, this is super lovely, but I need to sleep. Thank you for the stream. Punky Barrister is very good. Thank you, Andy, for coming in, as always. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Have a good night, have a good sleep, and we'll see you, uh, we'll see you tomorrow.
Andy's in a different time zone like a chump, so he has to go to bed early. His mom won't let him play. <laughs> That's not very nice of me, I'm sorry. Here we go. Yeah, that's good. That's real good. I like that. Uh, I'll tell you what, as long as I've got the the lighter brown, let's go ahead and outline the ears here. I think you need a little bit more. Well, let me explain to you how you can mansplain Lego. You see, uh, in 1929, Hitler happened. I don't know a lot about history. I think that time frame's wrong. There we go, that's good. Um... What's next? Uh, I think the next thing is... Uh, I'll tell you what, let's finish out all of the like surrounding stuff before we start filling things in. So next, here, let's wipe off the little brush I was using, because... Uh, no, not that one. This other one. And we'll do some of the detail work on the jacket real quick. <laughs> ah, you think plastic is your ally? You merely adopted the brick. I was born in it. <laughs> built by it. I didn't see the instruction manual till I was already a man. By then it was nothing to me but patronizing. <laughs> That's a wonderful one. Just gonna stick my fat head in the frame. That's the blue. I know I have red. Here it is. He tried to get away from me. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Now you just you just are stuck in, aren't you? This is awake in Oklahoma. Yeah, we're awake in Oklahoma right now. It's only like ten thirty. That's not sleepy time. I usually don't go to bed until like one AM usually. That's my own fault. You just really are not wanting to come off, are you, bruh? You're a... You're a real state trooper. Yeah, or like thereabouts. It's my it, it's my stupid body. It's uh And Alice usually gets to sleep much much later than that cuz she wakes up much much later. Hang on, I almost got it. I'm sorry this is taking as long as it's taking. You think I'd get a knife? Or something? Just like a tool? Like a human? Like a human uses tools? Like, even some people in the Animal Kingdom use tools, but nah, I'm just, uh... I'm just gonna jam on this, I guess, with my bare teeth. <laughs> I'm gonna get a tool. Hang on. Lol, bare teeth. That bear doesn't have any teeth. Hmm. Got there. <laughs> All right, all that so we can get a little dab of red paint and draw a big anarchy, eh? <laughs> it's 
So let's dribble that in. And we we'll get the little brush. And we take the little brush. And we take the little brush and we use it to draw a big fuck off red circle. I need a little bit more. Or a lot more, actually. I want all of these to look like solid lines before I start in on the hard work. I just can't sleep at night because that's when, yeah. It, it is unfortunate, but we all just kind of, we all try our best with what we got, you know? And, um, hmm. I'm curious how this is going to go, because what I want to do is get the Kennedy's patch on. The issue that I have with that is that it's going to be very fine work, and then I'm going to either have to color black in around it, or I'm going to have to do the black first and then uh, make the thing happen on top of it. But I'm not sure we're going to color over black really well. Let's take the. Oh no, that's going to be fine. Especially since it's going to be like mostly in white. That's fine. We can uh, actually just do the black and then put the fine detail over it. I should have done that over here, too. I should have tried something for a second. Uh, it's, it's cool, though. We make mistakes. That's how we learn. So let's uh, use our other little brush. There we go. And we're going to draw in the mouth real quick and the surroundings of the, the eyes and the nose. Yeah. And we're going to do that in brown so we can just fill in the color. And the dark brown we're using. Haha, -ha, dark brown. Like from... Like from that show. That show about the man. The man who goes through time. That's an anime, right? The man that fell through time? The girl that fell through time? The girl that fell through time, I think. And it'll give me a chance to, like better make the fork tongue look, better make the fork tongue do look, cause I ended up not liking it so much the way I did it on stream. It's much thicker over here and then gets thinner. It's very much a smirk. You know, that self-satisfied punk smirk they get. Isn't that a Doctor Who serial, the man that fell through time? It could be. I'd buy it. There's the nose for us. The Man Who Fell to Earth was an awesome movie about a mortal. No, I know that one. There's a... There's a thing. I actually don't know what it is. I, I'm familiar with it through, like, a third-hand source, so it's actually, like, really useless for me to try and do. But there's... Oh, that's a nice... Look at that circle. That is a good circle. Hot job, me. I actually think that works a lot. Like, I think the reason it works as well as it does, like the fact that the eyes are circular is because you don't find a lot of things in nature that are perfectly circular. 
so it's very uh, kind of off-putting. It, se it seems unnatural. Uh, fin Infinitissimo, The Man Who Fell Through Time by Holly Jane Rylands is apparently a novel. I'm pretty sure it's an anime, because I saw, like, the Weeb Squad talk about it. I'll fucking look it up on my own. I'm a grown-ass woman. I can do my own research. Just not right now, because I'm painting this punk-ass bear. I'm thinking of the girl who leapt through time. Yes. I think that's accurate. Um, do we want to fill in the rest of the face first? I think we do. I think that's the play. So, let's grab this brown. Just squeeze out the rest of that color. No, oh, that needs another go. There's some stuff at the bottom of that. I feel sure that a, a real artist might look at me and go, ooh, why are you treating your brushes like that? That's a bad way to behave. I'm like, I'm, tr I'm trying. I'm doing my damnedest. Can we just fill in all of this? Is there any other, like, bright colors we need? We haven't even done the hands yet. I I've started on this already, so I'm going to finish it, but we, we do still need to do the hands. Just be a little bit more careful around the around the ears. I'm actually very glad now that I made as much of this dark brown as I did. Uh oh. Well, it's fine crossed into the plane of the eyeball a little bit there, but it, it's cool. Once it dries, I can apparently just paint right over it, so there's no need to be too amped about that. The earrings better be gold leaf. Well, we do have, we actually do have a gold. I could use that probably. It'd be a little bit easier than trying to gin up some gold through the uh, the wonders of yellow and brown. Uh, so thank you everyone for coming to hang out with me while I do some painting. I hope you're having fun. I am trying to trying to be talkative and trying to be friendly. Not that it's, you know, particularly hard for me, but painting while I speak and also monitor chat is not something I'm used to. I'm still trying to get there, I think. You're starting to wiggle on me a little bit, easel, and I don't need that. We're just gonna adjust you. Sorry for only working. I'm working on making my everything an NB Pride flag. No, that's okay, B. I, I am happy you're here, and I'm happy that you're enjoying yourself. You don't need to. If you're just lurking, that's also great. As long as you're having fun, as long as you're enjoying watching me do whatever the hell this is. Like, part of the reason uh, that I started streaming in the first place is that I just really like entertaining people, and that's not something I had a lot of... Sp it's not something I had a lot of opportunity to do. Um, I used to be in... Oh, I just painted right over the nose like an asshole, didn't I? Ah, darn it, I sure did. Ah, beans. It's fine. 
I can just paint right back. It'll it'll probably be okay. We have a lot to do still. Nothing everything is fine, nothing is ruined. So yeah, I used to be in uh, plays and stuff was I was, when I was in uh, high school, and I used to have a lot of fun with uh, with people just laughing around and making jokes, and that's a lot of fun. And then uh, I stopped being around those people so much because just the way my life shook out. And I have fun with Katie, but I like, uh, I like an audience, you know? I like, uh, I like getting a whole room, right? It's that challenge of getting everybody in a room to just go, ah, got him, or what have you. Um, is that, well, no, we, we're still dipping into this brown. We did get all the face done, but let's do those hands real quick. nice circular teddy paws there. Actually, let's fill those in, and then we can come back to them later when we have our uh, our thinner, not thinner, but brighter brown, and we can just come right over that. I think that'll be fine. Okay. Honestly, right now this bear is kind of nightmare fuel -y. A little bit. It'll get better. <laughs> Plus, Katie super dry and sarcastic. Boo. I mean, that's just a different kind of fun, right? There's nothing bad about it. Let's get, let's make it a little less nightmare fuely, because I think part of what's doing that is the fact that we have just big, round, empty eye holes. So, I'm also happy we have original Teddy to protect us from the evil Teddy. We're gonna fix that. I think it's gonna look a lot friendlier once we get the. Uh, Uh, once we get the eyes filled in. Got some nice blue. Oh, you should have been in the water this whole time. How you doing? In there? You soaking up good? You gonna soak up the sun? <laughs> Oi, mate, what you said about our souls? Smash this bottle over, evil teddy. <laughs> Right, and going off for a gear for long, right? I want to teach you about coming in our children's bedroom at night, taking their sweet dreams away. Swearing me mum. Get uh, now. Nah, let's use like primary ass blue for that. Um, is that dry enough to paint on? No, no, not really. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do then. Since we have the green out anyway, let's get the yellow. Or since we have the blue, let's get the yellow. And we'll combine those two colors I just said to make green. Just like we did in primary school. And one of these bigger ones should be clean out by now, right? Yeah, that one's good. Just need to squoze it out a little bit. Squoze it out a little bit more than that. I'm 
I'm so proud of myself for what I've done. I'll show it on Mastodon. I look forward to seeing it. I kind of wish I could, uh... Like, I actually can't go over and bring up Mastodon right now. So that I could, uh, show our wonderful viewers also. Is that, uh... Is that becoming green, do you think? I got some yellow on there, and I got some blue on there. I guess I have too much blue. Yeah, that needs a lot more yellow. Oh, there's the uh, Napsta Bluke. Napsta Bluke? Masto Bloop. Napsta Bluke's an Undertale character. Oh, yeah, that's looking a lot more green. Well, it's looking a bit more green. That's kind of got teal. Wow. We're, I'm learning that the uh, ratio of yellow to blue and green is really high. <laughs> Post my rainbow volcanoes on Instagram, and some of my old friends really dug it since it's based on your old college nickname. Were you, were you Alvaro the volcano? More importantly, were you Alvaro the volcano because you used to throw up a lot after drinking because college, college jokes. Um, hmm. you know what? I'm willing to call this green. It's a little more teal. It's a little more teal than green. I don't know how well that's, uh, that's coming through. But we're just gonna, we're just gonna kind of deal with that. Because I don't want to dip too much yellow in there. <laughs> it was Lava Bros Jr. Because Lava Bros sounds like Alvaro. That makes sense. So, hmm. So, I spent a lot of time... Hi there. I spent a lot of time mixing that, uh, that green. And, uh... I forgot... I forgot about what this looked like. And then I looked back up at it, and I, I kind of jump-scared myself a little bit. It, it's okay. We're going to make it look better. We're just going to take that mohawk right off the page. There we go. Let's dab some of the... Uh... Let's get the fine brush so we can pick up some black and then just dab that in here. So we can make these lines just a little bit darker. So you know it's hair. There we go. It's sort of subtle. I don't know if that's getting picked up on camera. Oh yeah, that's getting picked up just fine. Wow, that bright light's doing just a double wonder. So we're gonna leave that to go for a second and then we're finally gonna get to these eyes like I said we were going to. I got sidetracked. That's It's a fact. Ain't no one can deny that. I'll just get a little bit of primary blue on there. Is that the... No, that's not the one we just used. This is the other one. This is good. That's what we want. We want the other one to soak a little bit. 
Vinny's latest morph of the uh, Mario and Superstar saga name is Mar Mary Thorpe and Lungier Superstar Cigar. Which is a great name for a game, don't get me wrong. I think Nintendo might have a bit of a fight with you about what you are doing to their brand. This music is a little extra epic for what we're doing, I think. I'm just gonna fill that in nice and neat. There, that doesn't look... Nah, it still looks kinda scary. We'll get to it. Once we get everything sorted out, it'll be fine. Trust me. I wouldn't steer you wrong. Since when has old Christy ever steers you wrong? Nah, I know exactly what I'm doing over here. We're going on a bit of a... We're going on a bit of a run. But trust me, it's all going to be gravy when we get there. It's going to be snakes and bladders. We're just going to clean that out and reuse it. Because I'm still waiting on the... Uh, some of the other pieces to dry a little bit so we can paint over them. So let's get into the tongue right here. It's not a lot and it goes up into the mouth a little bit so you understand it's a tongue and not just a bear vomiting red. That's good. Let's get another brush in here, because these four are starting to bore me. Let's take this one. Then we'll grab the black so we can do the inside of the mouth. reminds you of Sam and Fuzzy. I'm not uh, super familiar with Sam and Fuzzy. Oh no, I was using black anyway. I should have just kept it on. Oh darn it and blast. It's fine. Uh, double golly gosh darn call dang dag nabbit. Let's just fill in the, uh, as long as we're using black, we'll fill in the jacket. I'm nearsighted and colorblind, so I can see this way more clearly on stream than across the room. Yeah. Eyesight issues are pretty fucking real. I, uh... I have glasses, maybe you've noticed. I'm thankful that my eyesight isn't too terribly bad, but if I want to, like, do any kind of useful work, I need to have them on. And let's uh, kind of regret putting this A in here now because I'm going to have to be a little bit careful. And if there's one thing that kind of contrasts too much with having an anarchy symbol on your jacket, it's carefully having to paint in the lines around it. spaces that I'm working in. It's very nerve-wracking. Art's hard, apparently. Everything I said earlier about art being easy and cheap and fun, that's bullshit. Art's a, art's a difficult struggle. <laughs> Get in what you can before you die. <laughs> He 
You think you want this bear to be saying this is the remix? This is certainly a remix of the bear, in, in the same way that the Alf Jalapeno was a remix of the Alf Jalapeno. Like, that... I posted both pictures to Mastodon, and they don't look the same. <laughs> they look similar. You can see that the one was coming from the other, but it's, uh... It's not a one-to-one, -one, because they're different uh, mediums, and it's, uh... Just kind of done on the fly. It's not going to look exactly the same, but that's okay. I promise you this teddy is going to look more friendly once we're done with him. There we go. Finally got all that A work. Load that up, and I think that's the last of the black we're gonna need. Yeah. We'll just cover up that uh that red I put up there at the top. Okay, so while we wait for that to dry enough so we can put the Kennedy's logo on, let's get back to that, uh, what are we going to need red for anymore? Nothing? Yeah, so let's take the red we have and drop some white into it. There we go. So we can, oop, shifted that a little bit, it's fine. No, not that one. Yeah, that one's good. Oh wait, no it's not. That's supposed to be white. Those aren't black bristles. And we'll just... Swift that up and get a nice friendly pink. We're gonna add some friendly colors to the bear now. It's gonna help, I promise you. There we go. Look at that. Look at that cute little pink nose. A bear like that wouldn't hurt you, right? Bear like that, he's just he's just trying to help. He's a little misunderstood. Let's fill that in a little bit more so the color doesn't bleed through quite as bad. Actually that does help like a lot. <laughs> I'm really proud that I wasn't lying to you right there. Let's uh get the eyes sewn up too. There's a little dab of white on there. Just nice. Stitched in X's. Yeah, there we go. I think this is also helping a lot. Because now it doesn't look quite so much like a, a big empty eyed thing that's coming for you. It certainly still looks weird. <laughs> And the bare hands are done drying, so let's grab our lighter brown and go over that little dots for the bear paw. That's so cute. The nose helps. Yeah, see? 
I wouldn't steer you wrong. I wouldn't take you into Scary Town and leave you there. We took a we took a bit of a detour into Scary Town. I'm not gonna fucking lie to you, but we got out just fine. This bear, this bear, this bear just wants to give you a hug if you're into it. Maybe give you a headbutt. Maybe uh, you like headbutts instead of hugs. Maybe that's just your your ammo. This is almost uh, almost done with what we want, I. Yeah, it is a little bit. Let's grab a drop of hell, a touch of strange. Let's get the detail brush. Got a little bit of black on the detail brush. We'll put that in the white. No, that's not doing it. Need a little bit more. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, thank you so much. Alice has uh, brought me the uh, metallic gold so that we can make our piercings here in a second. But first off, I want to get to this fucking patch. So it's off here, like, at an angle, right? You think DK in, star in cartoons, DK stood for dead Kennedys? You think Cartoons DK was a Dead Kennedys cover band this entire time? I like to think so. Now we're just going to put some big ugly loops on it for our safety pins. We're not going to put as many as there are on the, the original picture up there. And they're definitely like sticking off at odd angles. Wonderful. Oh, I almost forgot the bear abs. What's wrong with me? What kind of person am I? Forgetting bear abs. That doesn't sound like me at all. Donkey, Donkey Kong is a cover project of the Ramones. I'm super into this conceptually. Let's grab this brown we still have here. And we'll just put the just sloppy ass and draw the yab abber abs on. There we go, perfect. That's exactly what abs look like. Every bear knows that. Man, we're almost done. I was kind of worried about our uh, our time here, but we're, we're gonna go a little bit over 11, which is kind of what I wanted to stop at, but we are going a little bit over, but it's, it's completely fine. We just need to do our details on the, um, uh, the, the earrings, I think, and the, the belly ring, the nose ring, and then we're going to be done. And we need to fill in the background because it's, it's just white now, but that's not going to be a problem. I'll just grab this wonderful metallic gold that just jizzed all over my palette. It's not the first time I've had a bunch of jizz on my palette, but I was usually a little more prepared. And big hoop earring down here. A 
a couple three really cool cartilage piercings up this side need a little bit more than that I didn't want to make them too clunky but they uh, they do need a little bit more color than that because the browns absolutely bleeding through And I just had one big one up here. That sounds good. I'm going to grab the tummy ring down here. Just a little bit of gold. I think it's actually going to be really hard to see against the, uh, the, the tan of his stomach. But what are you going to do? And then... Hmm, I'll tell you what, we'll come back to the, uh, we'll come back to the nose ring, because the nose needs to dry a little bit more, I think. Uh, it'll give us plenty of time to get a big brush, and we'll just do all of the, uh, the nice light blue of the background. I'm gonna get the big brush out. And... Need the... Blue. Come on. You were just you were just coming out just fine. Come on. It's okay to come out. It's Pride Month. That's not true for everyone. <laughs> some people some people need to stay in the closet because it's kind of uh, super duper difficult and dangerous for them. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm happy that I'm privileged enough to live in a, a work situation where that's not an issue for me, or indeed a life situation where I'm not going to be murdered you know, just on the general. But, not the case for everyone. Uh, no, I want a little bit brighter than that, so that it's not the same color as the... so that it's definitely not the same color as the... as the eyeballs. It is their own prerogative. You gotta, you gotta do what's best for your situation, but hey out there, if you're not out yet, and you're still, you, you're, be you. And if you can't be out, that's super duper okay, you're absolutely still valid. Live your, live your life. Don't let even other LGBT people tell you how to live your life. That's good. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what I want. Well, we're doing big strokes now, so I'm just going to hold the hold the easel in place. The easel also was quite cheap. I got it at five below for like six bucks. It's a very nice evil. easel. Easel. It's, it's actually not a very nice easel, which is kind of my point. It's a... Uh, a little cheap and ramshackle, but it does the trick. BRB while I change my PFP to my new PFP. Okay. I'm not certain what PFP is. Oh, profile pick. That makes sense. Oh, now we got a little bit on the... Got a little bit on the cheek there. That's fine. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just has to be yours. Uh, we'll fill in that. We'll fill in that space with the uh, with the detail brush here in a second. I just want to get the big swaths of color done. A little bit of push here. Here we go. There we go, just butt that right up against the cool, cool mohawk.
The Canadian flag. The Canadian flag was cropped terribly by Twitch. Uh, I am not seeing this profile pic. But you know what, B? Even though I can't see it right now, I'm very happy that you're happy. That's all I want is for my friends to be happy, really. I guess I just want people to be happy, generally. Not necessarily just my friends. I want everyone to be happy unless your happiness involves, you know, being a complete dick wheel. No one likes it when you're a complete dick wheel. That is very good. This is a very good art it made. <laughs> Get the, uh, oh, nope, that still has uh, gold on it. <laughs> Glad I realized that before I mixed it in too deep with that blue. <laughs> Countries shouldn't allow Twitch to crop their flags. I kind of agree. That's showing uh, country-based favoritism. Just fill in the corners right here. We're almost done with this project. I'm really, really happy how this turned out. Excellent. And now that we've had enough time for the... If I cut the bottom half off an American flag in public, I'd be shot dead in the streets. I mean... I think... We have the right to cut the bottom off an American flag legally. I think that's protected under free speech laws. Granted, a lot of people would be very mad at you. I'm not saying you're wrong to do it. All I'm saying is that people would be mad. So here's our finishing touch. The very last thing. We're gonna make a nice... Nose ring for Ted here. Punky Barrister. A little bit more than that. And that's it. Holy hell, this really worked. Alright, so... Let's uh, get a little bit of a better look at that. I'm going to turn my computer here so that I can have a better view on what I'm doing. So, there we go. Look at that. That's our good bear friend. He's, uh, he's a little rough and tumble, but I'll tell you what. There's no one you won't watch and you're back in a bar fight more than Punky Barrister here. Ah, it is. That's a good, good fuzzy boy. I'm very happy about how this turned out. Thank y'all so much for coming and hanging out with me. I appreciate all of you, too. Uh, that's gonna do it for me. That's the stream. Uh, again, thank you. I love you. Uh, let's talk very quickly about... Ooh, let me go hit the good, good button. Ah. Uh. Excuse me, just one second. I'm gonna hit the, I'm gonna hit this button. That's a good button to hit. So thank you so much for uh, coming to watch all of this. My name is Christy. I'm one of five people who stream here, along with my uh, my wife Katie and her sisters Alice and Annie and Sue. Let's run down our schedule. Oh, the music you're hearing right now is called Spaced Out. Uh, 
this is a song by Xenon Fiber, one of our chat regulars. You can go and find her EP at xenonfiber.bandcamp.com. Thank you very much, Xenon, for allowing us to use this music. It's great. Her whole EP is great. Go check it out. Let's talk about the schedule. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Annie is going to be playing Paladins uh, with members of our community. If you play Paladins, please uh, drop us a line if you're a chat regular, if you can be trusted to just be cool while we play. And after that, she's going to play Near Automata. We are... Look at the chat. Oh, it might not be Paladins because groceries. Yeah, okay, I forgot that uh, grocery day was tomorrow. So we're going... Uh, we might be skipping on Paladins in favor of just doing Near Automata. Near Automata, we're running... We're running right up against that last that last bit. It's so close to the end. Uh, we have maybe one or two more streams of Near Automata left. So, come in, see how this glorious mess ends. Spoilers, not fucking well. Wednesday is going to be our community day. We're going to be playing more Jackbox. If you want to stop in and hang out with us in the audience, you can do so. If we know you personally from Mastodon, uh, please drop us a line there or drop us a whisper here and we'll send you the stuff. You can participate with us. Uh, my cousin Grant might be joining us for that, so that's going to be a lot of fun. He's a funny guy. Uh, Thursday is Alice. Alice is going to be playing Lego Dimension. She's just got done with... When was Jackbox? Jackbox is Wednesday. Uh, and it's been most Wednesdays. We're kind of thinking about doing some other stuff for our community days, too. Uh, Wednesday is our community day, but right now it's going to be Jackbox for a while because that's easy and no one has to buy anything to play. Uh, and it's a god-awful lot of fun. If you want to check it out, uh, we do have those... Uh, uploaded to our VOD. Go check out our VODs. They're also very funny. Sometimes they're split into a million different pieces because of ISP issues. Thursday, I was saying, Alice is going to be playing more LEGO Dimensions. Her, She's done with the main story quest, so what's the next part you're doing? Uh, do you have a, an idea of what the, the thing's going to be moving forward? Uh, a couple of level packs, probably. I'm not sure which one's... Well, still. Or we might start on another story. Uh, we'll, we'll see. It's still gonna be a lot of fucking fun, because it's goddamn palette. Uh, it's goddamn LEGO Dimensions, and LEGO Dimensions is a delight. That game deserved more. There are three more full stories, right? There's, uh, the Ghostbusters one, and the Harry Potter one, and the other Harry Potter one. That's wrong. Ghostbusters, Harry Potter, and LEGO Batman movie, of course. So, no matter what we do, it's going to be great. So, stop in. Friday is going to be my wife, Katie. She was playing... She's going to be playing more Back to the Future, uh, the Telltale series, which is basically Back to the Future Part 4. Uh, the last time, we went back to the 1930s and found a young Emmett Brown and busted older Emmett Brown out of jail because he fucked up. And Marty started disappearing at the end of the last episode. We're not certain why yet. That's going to be a lot of fun to, to learn. It will be fun to learn. It's such a good fucking... Telltale just knocks it out of the park literally every time. Uh, Saturday is our night off. So we're going to come back Sunday. And Sue's going to be playing more Hard West with uh, Alvaro Vasquez, the masked man. Uh, we're probably going to end up finishing his campaign and moving on to a new one and the way that the new ones work it's either going to be fucking Warren or uh, Cardinal Richelieu so yeah so Laura also probably screwed over everything oh right the psychic woman right uh, so it's either going to be our good buddy Warren the demon child or the psychic nun Either way, it's going to be fucking wacky and really sad. Uh, there's content warnings available for those. Uh, we'll get into them later. And Monday, uh, next Monday, comes back around to me, where I will be playing some uh, PUBG. Because every other Monday is PUBG for a little while, for like another month. And then uh, it's going to go away, but we're going to enjoy it while we have it. 
so please stop in for that. I think that's everything I need to talk about. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you again so much for joining us. You could follow us if you like. If you hit the follow button, you can see when we're going live with all of that great stuff I just mentioned. Thank you for sitting through it. Uh, or if you've been following us for a while and you feel like you want to support us, you could subscribe if you like. It's absolutely not necessary, but it does help us make the, the stream better. And we would appreciate it. It would be great. But uh, even if you don't, you're always welcome here. Everyone's welcome here at Squirrel Lily Streams. Everyone's a part of our truck community. Exactly, look at that crisp, clear webcam image. That's your doing. Thank you so much. Uh, I've been Christy, and until I see you next time, stay safe.